What is up, you guys? Hello, everybody. Whoa, whoa, warm up. Move my lips. Welcome to WNBC. Welcome to NBC. How it's doing? Uh, never mind. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to Break Me Up, Scotty. I'm Scotty. How are you watching? Be must. Be must. It's time to look at a couple quick sets for you. I'm a huge fan of Oxford Block. It's been a while since I reviewed their last set. Let's look at these two. I'm going to show you two sets for today. These are available for a very limited time on my store, BrickMeUpScotty.com. Or if you're in Korea, or if you have a friend in Korea, tell them to go get the set right now. By now, you must know Oxford Block. Yeah, it's a little bit pricey, but I try to get the set so I can sell them to you guys because I love them just as much as you do. Seriously. Anyway, these are both special collaborations. They're probably going to be a limited run. Get them while you can. Which one are we going to look at first? Are we going to go to sleep? Or are we going to stay up and go to the radio station? Let's go, let's go to the radio station. So this is Oxford Block's MBC radio. No model number. 379 pieces. Here's the beautiful box for you. I can't find the instructions, man. I'm moving so much stuff in the office. I misplaced it somewhere, so sorry. You get an idea. If you have Oxford Block, you already know the instructions are very, very good. This is the NBC Radio box designed by NBC Radio Station, which is the second radio station ever in South Korea. But there you go. It's a really nice box, right? Here's the back of the box. We're going to look at the detail, so we don't need to see the box anymore. I will keep this box for myself. I love Oxford Block. Wow, it's so small, so tiny. This is very typical Oxford Block. It's not closed off. There is no top. There is no back. So it is fully playable. It does come with three little mini figures, which we'll look at later. As small as this is, I love it. Let's look in the front here. Yeah, the set does have lots and lots of stickers. The sticker quality is pretty dang good. So on the front, you got a couple speakers here and you have like a bench, a hangout bench. Apparently they promote it, or you saw in the box earlier, you can kind of take out the instruments that are inside and have a hangout area here. So your figures can have a band party on the outside. And you got two little, pretty little flower pots, very simple. But these are only from Oxford Block. I love the flower pots. I think those are actually really cool. That is a sticker going across two tiles and the on-air sticker. This sticker here looks totally fine. I like the look of it. And that's pretty much it, man. But I like the colors. I like the blue and the little bit of pink there. The vibe is very, very nice. Now I'm going to spin it to the side here. Whee! There's a sticker here on the wall. Sorry, man. I don't speak Korean. Translators, if you're out there, go for it, man. I love you guys. Do your thing. Got a door here that goes inside. And then I'll swing to the back here, which you saw earlier that is open. So you got a door that comes into this room and there's another door that goes into this room. And just to show you here on this side, there's nothing here. So yeah, it can be a lot, like a little bit flimsy. You know, it's very light. This is Oxford Block, man. It goes well with their other little tiny sets like this, which I really like. This room here is the mixing room, I guess, where the, the editors hang out. They watch you through the window. Look at the mixer board. That is really cool. Those are all stickers. That's a lot of stickers. I haven't seen anything quite like that. So that's one thing that I do love about Oxford. I feel like it's so special when I see stuff like that. I'm like, whoa, that is so cool. Got a little screen there and look, it's not like a plain looking screen. It's got so much detail on there. So I'm going to try to attempt to pull out these things here. Oh, no, that just fell straight apart. So you got the desk here, the little coffee mug and the drawers. I don't think our other brands make these kind of drawers. I could be wrong. Maybe I'm, I'm just getting old, but it's like single size right there. It's like super small. That is actually pretty cool. But the overall desk here, it's very simple. Let me see if I can pull out this mixer. I'm not sure if I can get it in one shot, but I think I can. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I did it. Unfortunately, all the meters are stickers. Bummer. But I still like the look of it, the attention to detail. Very fine. And then on the inside here, there's one small screen that's hanging above the window. And I think, that, I don't know what that says, man. Maybe it's like what they're supposed to talk about or the playlist that the band is supposed to play in the next room. So open this door or you can walk around and you go into this band room. I love the band room, man. I think this is really cool. So in the center, there is a table right there. 
And it looks like their podcast screen, what they're supposed to talk about. DJ M Big. I don't know what the other stuff says. It's all Korean. There's another coffee mug there. And I'm guessing, yeah, these are like microphones, right? Hey, pretty smart. And there's another tile on the table. I can't see it with my own eyes. It's too small to see. It looks like a schedule list or something there. Flip it here. This is where the other room was. You can see on the inside through the window there. You got the time along the top sticker and a lot of speakers. You got speakers on both sides and you got another speaker there on the floor. And in another screen here, this is the same screen. Yeah, this looks like kind of the same screen as the one we saw in the other room. You got a sign up here that says NBC Radio. I, I guess that's a little mascot dude running around. Then we come down here, which you got a microphone for your singer, a nice little keyboard right there. It's very simply made. Another sticker to give it more detail. I like the sticker on the set, man. The stickers are like totally detailed. I mean, even this sticker here, usually they cheapen out on stickers, but that looks really good. Like the, the audio levels there for the keyboard. Look at all the dials and numbers on there. That's pretty wild. I like that. Okay, let me see if I can pull out this turntable. It looks like it wants to fall apart on me. You got a record. Sticker on it, a little turntable needle. And I think this is supposed to be like a like a speaker, right? I'm not sure, but I like it. They probably got my favorite part, the drum area. So the cool thing is I can actually pull out the whole drum set for you to see right there. If I flip it like that, see all the detail. Yeah, and these two things right here are the drum sticks. So since I'm almost done with this, I might as well just show you the figure. So who's gonna play drums? Maybe we'll get this girl with the gold hair. Look at her, she's all printed. She's got really blue eyes, gold hair, skin tone. Okay, let's just put her in the drummer's seat. Okay, let's see if I get this on there. Those are long drumsticks, man. There she is, banging away on the drums. All right, I'm gonna keep her in there, throw her back in here. And while we're at it, let's just look at the other two figures. So you got this girl who's wearing a badge. That is a sticker. She looks just fine. Yeah, it's kind of a weird combination of a printed shirt. So I'm gonna take her. I guess she's gonna be the DJ for today. We'll sit here in the chair right there. So then you got this guy, he looks like a doctor, but he's got the sticker badge on him as well. We'll put him in the mixer room, okay? I'm gonna stick him over here and he's gonna be using all the dials. And there are all the three guys. Chris will help me get a couple of shots of the guys together. You know, on the set, playing around, as expensive as it might be. You know, if we want it, get it. If we don't want it, just enjoy this video. Maybe you can see the pieces and just make the set yourself. You know, it shouldn't be too difficult. But yeah, there you go, super light. Okay, we're gonna go on to the next set. You ready for this? Here we go. So what you're looking at here is Oxford Blocks Quick Sleep, 408 pieces. Also, no model number but they say it's part of their town series. I'm not quite sure why they put that series on there because that series is one that you can just buy anywhere. So that's, that's good to know. Anyway, th this is the book. I actually had the book. It's very easy to read. Now, if you're lucky enough and you actually buy this from us, you might or might not get this package with it. It's actually got an expiration date on it. So it might be expired. So now I only got a couple of these. Should I open this one? Probably, no, no need, no need. No, let's not open it, I'll keep it like this. Cause you know, one of you guys might want this more than me. It has a pillow spray and a sachet. And it looks like this is a mattress shop that's based also in the US. Oh, I don't know, or is it a Korean brand? I'm not an expert in this. Are you guys? Who's an expert? There you go, anyway, gift pack. And you also get this, which is kind of heavy. It looks like a bunch of books and postcards. And I kind of want to open this, see what's inside, but no, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to leave this as is. I'm not going to rip it open. I'll save this for you. We're here to see the bricks. We're here to see the set. Let's look at the box. I like this box. It's so peaceful. Makes you want to go to sleep. I'm getting sleepy right now. I think, yeah, I think those are just the spare pieces I have in there. I'll flip it to the back for you. There you go. The details about this one. This one's not nearly as detailed as the last set. We have two choices. Cool. Let's look at the set. It's kind of similar in terms of like size of this one. It's a little bit shorter. So you can see the color scheme is totally different. I like that it is tiled all on the front. 
Okay, I like the color tone as well. The steam is like dark blue and white. It looks so classy and clean. Similar to the radio station, you got this flower bed on this side, which is nice color combination on those flowers. You got the Q logo here, all stickers. And you got a big sign up here again, quick sleep, a small little awning and another street sign down here with a real person. They just broke the illusion. How dare they? Now the front here also has a big giant sticker. 100% comfort guarantee. And then a very simple little lamppost right there. But same deal, open top. If I spin it to the side or the back here, you can see that, yeah, totally playable, which is really good if you have a kid, they can totally play with the set. Nothing ain't gonna fall apart. Now if you look at the wall here, this is just plain wall. There's nothing there. But on this side, it has a very nice window. But that's my friend, the big old sticker. So as I always say, you might not want to put the stickers on, save the sticker sheets for yourself and just see what it looks like plain. Let's open up the door here. We come inside. Well, it is, it is a very minimal shop. The first thing you see when you go in is this nice little flower. Alongside this wall is a very thin shelf. It cannot be pulled apart. I just tried it and it completely fell apart on me. But you got a lot of little items inside. I'm pretty sure these are pillows right there. Got a couple of tiles, stickers on those tiles. Say quick sleep on them. The waterproof mattress protector and some drawers down below. They do not open up. Or maybe these are bed sheets too down below. That's, that's gotta be bed sheets. Then we come over here to this table, the meeting table where you're going to buy your mattress. You got some tiles on there. It looks like a letter. This one's just a notepad. And this looks like a computer screen, the mattress you want to order. Then we come to the side, which you got two beds. You know, you can always remove the beds and put them in your modulars and just like steal ideas from this. Got a couple of lights dangling there. A little clock along the wall. It's time to go to sleep yet? Boy, a lot of dust on this. So you got this bed right here. Figures will slide right off the sucker. And there is a really small sticker there. You know, it comes with two figures. That's it, it only has two guys that come with this set. This guy looks like the boss man. He is printed. He looks totally fine. Nothing too crazy about him. But I can show you an example. He lies down on the bed. There you go. Hi guys, so I'm gonna slip off. Oh, it's like a little slide. And you got this bed. Ooh, this is the big, nice big bed there with some yellow pillows, a little bit higher, right? This is the king size bed. Now I'm gonna take out this lady. She actually looks like all the other Oxford block figures. She looks just fine. Got a big smile on her face, striped printed shirt. There she is, she's gonna jump on the bed, go like, yeah, wee, wee, jump, 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 jump. Oh, maybe, maybe, maybe this is her husband and they're just gonna lie there and sleep. What are we gonna do tonight, honey? I don't know, where are the kids at? Okay, so that gives you an idea for the bed size. At least you can take these out, that's great. Make this an empty shop if you want to. And there are a couple of accessories here. I'm not quite sure what these are, like delivery mattresses. One is longer than the other. Sticker that goes all the way around. I got the bed for you. I got my bed too, there we go. Quick sleep, yay, quick sleep. So small, yet so satisfying. I love having these sets around. You know, I should make an Oxford block city soon. It is now time for Dimensions. Break out your 32 by 32 base plate. Let's put the AMBC radio. So along the front here, that is 24 studs by 20. Yeah, it's nice and small, right? And let's check the height if you have your one by four bricks. Break them out, like this. We'll stack it up. Oh, the highest point is like right. Oh, actually it's like right there. Or it's kind of on the raised plate there. It's around there. It's like nine bricks in height. The lower part is more like eight bricks in height. Yeah, you guys get an idea. It'll fit in the city, man. For the quick sleep, we put it down here. It is exactly 20 by 20. Yeah, easy, right? Let's break out the one by four bricks for your heights. I shall stack it over here and look. Oh, it's like just, just, oh, oh, right there, like going up. That is around 10 bricks, 10 and a half. 11 is too high, there's 11. But just so you guys can see, it's, really, it's easy, man. Okay, we're gonna drop this. This is gonna be fun, because I'm sure it's gonna survive. Woohoo! Yes, the video is done. It's time to drop some Oxford block. These two are so itty bitty small. I think they're gonna be just fine. So let's have some fun and drop this, these suckers.
Yo, that's Oxford block for you. Minimal damage. Just think, just this piece got backwards there. Just a couple of the front pieces fell off there. Everything on the inside is fine. Except for the shelf. Done. Fixed. All right. So there you guys go. It's Oxford Blocks limited collaboration. We got the NBC radio. We got the quick sleep. It's available on our store. However many we have left. We don't have a lot left. A couple of you have bought this from us. Thank you so much for your support. It's time to go and work on some more videos for you. All right. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And until next time, you guys. Break me out! You know, I should I should make my own set. Break me up Scotty office. It'll kind of look like this, you know? Should I do it? Should I make a break me up Scotty office? Would you guys buy my office? Oh, maybe I'll throw a deer in there. That'd be kind of cool. Look at the size of that bed. That's where the magic happened. Woo. Time to make some babies. I'm getting so sleepy. Just looking at this head. I need a bed like that. Chris, you ready to go home and go to sleep? Yeah. Yeah, don't even said yes. Time to go to sleep. Well, this might be actually built into the... Oh no! I have destroyed it.